What's up guys? So uh, three or four days later, I'm not sure at this point since the post and uh, never thought it would get so much attention. Um, definitely never thought it would get so much hate. Uh, it's just been unreal. But a lot of people miss the point, guys. You know, the whole point of the video, whole point when I, of my speaking and going out and speaking was for my children and for the other children out there like mine. Uh, you know, I have a 14 year old that has sensory disorder, a 17 year old that has asthma. And the decision to mask or not mask is a decision that should be made between a qualified doctor, uh, a parent, and if the kid is of, you know, sound mind and able to make a decision, the child. Shouldn't be made by the school board who doesn't have medical degrees or medical training. It's not what we pay the school system for. We pay them to educate our children, not to make medical decisions for them. Um, you know, my post got flagged because they said that wearing a mask cannot cause hypercapnia. Well, hypercapnia in its definition is excess carbon dioxide in the blood and it says right in the definition that it's normally caused by um, respiratory inadequacy so uh, i'm a little confused why that would flag my post um, i also had people tell me that you know wearing a mask cannot cause um cannot cause hypoxia well hypoxia in its definition is a lack of oxygen to the vessels and to the brain so if any of you tell me that you think you get more oxygen or the exact same oxygen if you're wearing a mask, I can't argue with you, I guess, but in my opinion, you don't. And there's people out there all over the place that have done studies both ways. There's studies with people showing them their oxygen level stays the same. Now those videos are normally short. The guy on Twitter that did his video, his video was a minute and 10 seconds long. Let's keep in mind that your body has enough reserve to last a minute and 10 seconds. You know, that minute and 10 seconds um, is not really going to make a difference. But if you notice that video, what you'll notice is his heart rate immediately goes up. One of the first signs of, you know, that, that, that there's something wrong in the body is when our is when our, our pulse and our, and our heart rate start to go up. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, but I can read through the lines, I can look at the research um, and, and, and make my decisions based upon that. You know, there's hundreds of studies out there, including the German study that was just done this last week, that show that children do not transmit the virus as we once thought. 2,000 children tested in Germany. That's right on CNBC, I believe, is the, uh, who posted that article. You can Google it. Um, all these things are Googleable, and, and so it doesn't take a genius to do this research. We know the size of coronavirus, 0.0125 of a micron up to 0.03 of a micron. We know that N95 masks do not start filtering until 0.03. So we know we're protect protecting against respiratory droplets for the most part, right? Uh, as far as the changing of masks go, if you look at Google, it says that a mask should be changed every 90 to 120 minutes at the worst. And you know, if we wanna be extra cautious, it says if you go a little further down to the next study, that every time the mask gets wet, it should be changed. I've had countless OR people come on here um, and comment and say they never change their mask. They just wear the same mask all day. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Just because you've been doing it that way doesn't mean that's what the standard is. Um, you know, you have OSHA experts and everyone else speaking out and saying that it's dangerous, that you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, there's accounts of people literally falling off ladders, crashing their cars, passing out in PE. These are all things that are right on the internet that are not fake news, that are even, that are even on sites like NBC, CNBC, CNN, okay? Not your typical right-wing agenda sites, right? So these are left-wing sites that have posted all these same articles. I know, I was surprised too. But all that being said, guys, so many people missed the point. The point, at the end of the day, it's my choice. My choice as a parent. If my son has sensory disorder and my doctor says that my son should not wear a mask, that it's gonna do him more harm than good, he's gonna fidget with it, touch it, it's gonna cause him anxiety, whatever it might be, then he shouldn't wear one. Uh, at the same time, my son with asthma. If my doctor says you know, he's gonna have more of an adverse reaction with asthma, um, then, you know, with a mask on them, then without one and the chance of coronavirus are very, are very slim, uh, in the, in, in, in his age demographic, then we might make the choice not to mask. That's our choice. That's what the video was about. So all this hate is, is unmerited. It's silly. Um, I can't believe you guys talk to people this way. I try to be respectful to everybody as long as I can. I try to answer almost every comment you guys put out there. There's been thousands and thousands of comments, um, you know, between DMs and on different posts. And I've commented on just about all of them. So 
I appreciate you guys. You know, I appreciate you guys for for the support. Um, the people that don't agree, I appreciate your opinions. But please do some research and and don't just tell me that my opinion's not valuable because you don't agree with it. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this clears some stuff up.